So I'm back at the driving uh, certification program here, which is government owned. And that's the difference why Americans have such a tough time with their licenses, because the state in Japan is government. Canada is also government. This is the course. This is the course. And there's marker there. You got to stop the car between that red pole. I guess that's the back of the car and the top there. And this is the other pole right there. There's the cars. And those poles there, you got to put the front of the car in front of those little poles there, which I didn't know. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be walking out here. But this is the driver's course. And the problem is, is everything is so close together that you can't get your foot off the clutch. So one of the problems I had, you're probably gonna yell at me for going out on the course, is this marker right here. You gotta stop your car. What it thought? Yeah, if you start your car right there, on there. The other issue that I violated, you got to stay within 30 centimeters. Actually, they say 50, but this is 30. This is about 20, 40 to here, which I think I did stay, but they really want you to be about 20 centimeters to be safe. You want to be at like a foot away from this line. If you hit this line, you're going to fail. And you got to get it to, you got to hit these corners around 20 to 25. Um, and you got to get to 30 there, minimum 30. 20, 30, 40. So you don't want to go over 40. Minimum is 20. 40 is what you got to hit. 30 is what you're supposed to hit there. And then the back stretch there is, um, Another problem. Looks like they cut a path here so people can walk it. You don't want to hit these triangles. Ah, those are those guides. Stay to the left or the right. That's what they're talking about, those triangles in the thing. I was trying to figure out what those are. Come along here. And this is what screwed me up up here. I'll show you. Here's the speeds. So you got to, I guess that's the minimum, the maximum, and the speed limit, I guess. 20, 30, 40. This part's really confusing. Because the line stays here but they want you to go here. And it seems to me, you're supposed to indicate here. I'm curious. You're supposed to stay in the front lane, come here, but it screwed me up right here. Look, the white line goes here, around here, but that's the second time around. The first time, you stay to the right. This is really messed up corner that will screw you up. So there's no line here. You go all the way around. So I'm really curious. I think I think this is messed up right here. I'm gonna take a picture. So this is the course I'm taking. I'm just going to put a long picture here. So if you're in Fukui and you need to take a driver's license, this is course one. Kind of more of the basic. Maybe it's for a motorcycle or something, or for um, autom uh, this is for I think um, automa um, automatic. This is the manual course. So if you're going to get stick, you get, which I'm doing right there. And there's another course here. Maybe this is a truck or something, I don't know. Right here. So I've marked up the map here. 
There's four stops here. And um, when you make your right turns, make sure they're sharp and tight to the corners. And indicates, I've made my indication marks and stuff. So you can see there's quite a lot slowing down at each of the things here, indicating, making a left turn, tight, or tight on here, tight turn. Um, so hopefully, I'm going to be able to pass this time. The challenges of driving in Japan. The cool thing is, well, Every time it's not cool, but every time you, you can keep coming, coming, coming until you pass. And uh, it's three thirty dollars every time. This woman here in front of me, this one right here, was yes here yesterday. I just thought of another thing that kind of freaked me out last time was they'll give you a little warm up lap, right? They'll just take you around the circuit. So I kind of started thinking I was starting, and I'll say, no, no, turn right. And it kind of threw me off because I was thinking of the map. I was like, wait, this isn't the map. What am I doing? And like, turn right, turn right. And I was like, what you got oh, Warm up. I said, warm up. Oh, warm up. So it takes you around and you start. So I failed again. And I corrected everything I did wrong last time. And this guy, which I thought would be a good guy to have because he was kind of animated in it, um, basically uh, brought up a bunch of other things. He's, you know, it's funny, the teacher yesterday said I was good with the clutch. This guy said I was, you know, I was too erratic with the clutch. Um, and um, I, I missed, I, did, I don't know, I thought I, I, I didn't have to do the, I missed my three point turn. So I adjusted, I should have gone for it. Um, you cannot adjust on the three-point turn, so I failed that because I was too a little bit to my right, which I need to hug really to the left when you do the three-point turn, hug the left side. And the reason for that was I was in a different car, so I was in a slightly bigger car, um, and uh, and that was an issue. And then I went 34 miles per hour. You're supposed to hit 30, and it, there's really no mark, and I didn't know. I thought at least 30. I didn't know it had to be 30 on the dot. So he, he marked me off on that. He marked me off on my three-point turn, uh, you know, forward, back, and out. Um, and he marked me on my supposed erratic clutch. So I got to go again. Oh, I talked to the girl. I was like, well, how many times have you taken it? She's like, this is my sixth time. Six time. Ah. Uh, Unbelievable, these Japanese licensed guys.